Hey guys, I'm Grant with another random review. This week, it's the Liam Neeson detective drama, A Walk Among the Tombstones. Since Taken, Liam Neeson has carved out a niche that people seem to respond to. He kicks people's asses and delivers a performance that tricks you into thinking that the movie is, you know, better than it actually is. A Walk Among the Tombstones is not one of those films. Don't get me wrong, Liam Neeson is still great, but if you want to see him snapping necks and taking names, you better rent Taken again. So let's talk about the good and the bad here, starting with the good. It goes without saying that Liam Neeson is a great actor. It's part of the reason some of his crappier movies of late are still looked upon, you know, favourably. And this film is no exception. He's actually got a pretty meaty character to sink his teeth into, and he's not the only one. Across the board, the acting in this film is great. The standouts being Dan Stevens as the drug dealer Kenny and David Harbour as the creepy Ray. The film also has a very distinct look. It's a very washed out colour palette that gives a great sense of the atmosphere and the world in which these characters live. The opening tiles are fantastic too. So damn stylish and a great use of colour. Now onto the bad. I could not stand the score to this film. It sounds like some bad elevator music and it never changes. It's just the same theme again and again and again and it gets old really fast and sticks out like my dog's balls. It has this generic detective feel that seems like it came from an old MS-DOS point and click game and it got on my nerves. That said, I love the cover of Soundgarden's Black Hole Sun that plays over the credits. It's very minimalist and strangely haunting. It's in the trailer too so I encourage you to check it out. Next, the script is riddled with cliched moments that the movie really doesn't put a new spin on and you'll be able to pick a lot of the story points before they happen. Sure it has a few moments that are thrilling, but most of the time it's a paint by numbers detective drama. Overall, A Walk Among the Tombstones is a pretty generic thriller that's elevated by great performances and a gritty film noirish look. It's not breaking any new ground as far as the genre goes, but it does give Liam Neeson a more compelling character than we've seen from him in some time. You could do far worse than this one, guys. I'm giving it three out of five stars. So, what did you think of A Walk Among the Tombstones? In fact, what's your favorite Liam Neeson film? And if anyone says episode one, I may have to sock you in the face. So, fair warning. If you're new here, click that subscribe button. I make new videos every week. Don't forget to like and share, follow me on Twitter. Check out our latest film learning episodes on Sprites, and I'll see you next time for another random review.